Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be having a look at the Honor 400 and 400 Pro. I haven't got the physical phones on me but I do have some thoughts after looking at these online and some posts about what people have put on about the AI features. So I'm going to talk about the AI features in this in this video. So I have done some shorts already about the AI upcoming AI features but now the phones are out and I'm starting to see stuff on social media of people using the AI features. I've got some exciting things to share with you and some initial thoughts on how I'm finding looking at the AI side of things. So first of all let's look at the um, start off with looking at the AI image to video that the new uh, Honor phones are pushing. So this is a very powerful AI feature I think. So it enables you to take a photo of a, a painting for example or maybe of your an old photograph and then the phone can then generate live images from this, live moving images from video from this image, still image. It's, it's amazing technology how it's doing it. Uh, I think it's got some very powerful features. I've seen paintings come to life, I've seen images come to life. So you could take a photo of relatives who are no longer with us and you could bring it back to life. So kind of Lots of questions around, is this a good thing to do? But actually, I think it is. I think it enables people to connect with old photographs to bring things, memories back into life and stuff like that. So I, I think it actually has a powerful a powerful use in, in the new AI world. And I, I'm quite excited to get my hands on this phone and try it out for real life and how it actually can help me in the real, real world use, as we do on this channel, to showcase... Uh, the technology and also to see how it can actually be used in everyday real world situations. So I'll show you some examples of people of Honor using these and their branding stuff like that, how it actually works in, in how they've used it. And then when I get my hands on the phone, I will show you how it works and do a full review on it to showcase the actual product being used in the real world as we always do. Let's talk about now the AI photo editing tools on these phones. So it's very much, Honor did a, a release on this a few months back where they very much said, this is our future of our products. We're going AI full guns blazing, we're going all AI out. So Samsung have, all, have also done this, but Honor are very much concentrating on the AI side of things. So I'm a big fan of AI. I do use it a lot. I like the AI editing tools on phones. I find them very useful. I particularly am a fan of Honor phones. I always have been. I like, on, for example, in the Honor Magic V3, I enjoyed uh, using their AI movie creation tool. I found it very unique and very useful and very quick to make a quick family video so I could send it around my family and show people like the kids at Christmas or birthdays and it was a really useful feature on Honor phones. So something I do miss not using an Honor phone sometimes if I'm not using one. So let's look at the AI tools on the new 400 and 400 Pro. So we've got things like AI arrays passerby. So this is a common feature now on a lot of phones, but Honor really do go out guns blazing on this and they've really done a really good job of making this really, really hard to tell that even might have modified the photo. So keep the shot clean, get rid of passers-by strangers and make it your portraits look really good. So AI, Honor phones are really good at portraits, always have been. They push the portrait mode by their partnership with Harcourt in Paris, which is a portrait house. So this, this is another feature that really ties into Honor's ethos. And also you can do AI outpainting, so extend the photo backgrounds, backgrounds beyond the frame. So this is something else that other manufacturers have tried to do and not seen it successfully done as well as Honor have. So the AI, the sort of guesses what might be beyond the picture and you can sort of extend that out and make it into a full frame picture. And I think that's really cool, really unique and the way that Honor implement it and it actually works from what I've seen on the on the social media side of things, it actually seems to work properly. Uh, AI cutouts, so you can place yourself anywhere in your image so you can cut yourself out like a sticker and stick it on the image and then people can't tell you've been in the right place. So Google tried to do something similar with AdMe, which I'm not that big a fan of because I find it really hard to get kids to stay still and stuff. So being able to cut it out and add in afterwards, I think is a better approach. Approach, I think works better when you've got young kids, anyone who won't stay still, basically like pets as well. AI remove reflections, so you've got clearer, cleaner glass window shots. So if you're taking it through a bus, for example, you've got, so say you're on holiday, you see like a scenery shot and you want to take a picture of your of the scenery, but you can't get out on the bus and AI can clean up the image for you, take out the reflections on the glass, which is really useful. Or if you're in a car and you can't stop, I find that to be particularly useful because we've all done it so many times, taking it through the car windscreen when you can't get out of the car. AI eyes open, which is called, which is fixed close eyes and group photos so anyone with kids will know this well kids never have the, their eyes open at the right time or you've got a group of kids trying to take a photo so being able to modify their eyes and take them out and put it in the right place is amazing honestly it's the best AI feature I can think of that if you've got kids and you know what I'm talking about um, AI upscale as well so you can sharpen enhance low res images so if you take a photo of like an old old image and it's low res or if you've got an old old re image on your phone for example that's 
high, low resolution. So for example, I've got some wedding photos on my phone that are really low resolution. I could use AI to enhance those and print them off into an album because we had a problem with our wedding photos, which I won't go into detail on, but this was really, really helpful for me to be able to see our wedding photos in full resolution because we never got them. Let's move on to things like moting photo, moving photo collages as well on the AI side of things. So you can put two or nine frames into one animated collage so you can have like moving photos going along four or five at once. That's really cool, really unique, really good for family photos, old photos of people and things like that and animate them, kind of make it, make, bring the emotion out in the pictures and makes it more real. I think so. If people say AI is, is robbing us of identity, but I think it doesn't. I think in some circumstances, used in the right way, like this on a on a phones are bringing out. I think it can give us back our identity. It can connect us with older relatives who are no longer here. It can bring out life in still images that um, we wouldn't necessarily have had before. It's just you know, in some ways, it's a positive thing. I think people should embrace change, not. The other way around. But let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think AI is a good thing or do you think it's a bad thing? I personally think it's a good thing. I think used in the right way, it's very, very good. I use it in the studio all the time and I'm a big fan of AI. You can also do subtle motion static photos for emotional impact. So just things like that are really bringing out that storytelling side of things, making it feel real and connecting us with people that, that we can't necessarily connect with in everyday lives. And I think it's a good thing. I, I'm a big fan of these on AI features. So thank you for watching. I'll put some samples on there. And when I get hold of the phones, I'll be doing a full review. But I just wanted to go over the key AI features on these new phones because I think it's really exciting and really unique that we're doing here. And I can't wait to get hold of the phone, try it out, and I'll get it on the channel as soon as I can. So thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video and get involved. Let me know what you think about Honor AI or AI in general, and would you use it in everyday situations or would you find it not useful? So looking forward to hearing from you and please give me a thumbs up if you like the content. If not, let me know why as usual and I'll get a real world review on the phones on the channel as soon as I can. So thank you again and I'll speak to you next time. <music>